The piano roll editor has a lot of nice improvements in this update. Now to start with, in the snap menu over here, when we hover our mouse over it, we'll see a little power button becomes visible. So we can enable or disable snap. We can turn it off by pressing that power button. And when we move the mouse away, it reverts back to the normal display. And the same thing happens here where we get this on off button when we hover the mouse over it. Now, additionally, there's a new value here in Snap called as time quantize. And what that means is it'll follow what you have set in your time quantize section over here in the inspector, whatever the value is here. So basically it allows you to work with two time values in terms of Snap. Now, for example, here I have it set to bar. So if I drag a note, as we expect, it snaps to the bar. And if we go to as time quantize, which is available via a key command as well, we can now move, in this case, based on 16th notes due to this being set to 16ths. So with a simple key command, you can toggle between two different snap values. Very useful. Now in the preferences, there's a new setting here under general and editing region border trimming. And when this is enabled, it means that we can trim the border of the regions directly in the piano roll. Let me zoom a little bit and you'll see here that I can grab the ends and lengthen or shorten it right from there. And that can be turned off if you prefer. Now we also have some functionality that's enhanced when multiple regions are selected. Now let's say I'm going to select both of these and hit P to open the piano roll. And we're seeing the contents of both regions. Now, when notes are added in the piano roll with the pencil tool, they're going to be placed in the region that's on the currently selected track rather than on the first track. So when I add a note now, it's going to go on this one because this is selected rather than this one because it's first. So let's select the pencil tool. I'll add a note. And there you see it's added in right there. Let me hit undo and we'll get rid of that. Now it's also possible to use the pencil or the brush tool to insert notes into a region when we're in collapse mode. So for example, let's just select this one and I'll just put this on and put collapse mode on here. And now I can use the pencil tool and create a note like that. And I can trim it of course as I want. Let me hit undo. Another new thing is I can now create a note using the pencil tool in collapse mode outside of the region and it'll extend it. So you see here, it's placed the note in there and extended the region boundary. So the behavior is improved when we're using the pencil tool when we're in collapse mode. And we can also use the contextual menu to add notes when we're in collapse mode now. Now a little caveat, I'm going to control click. And when I go create note, I have to release my finger from the control button first in order for it to work properly. Create note. And there it's adding a note and it's added it in collapse mode. I'm going to hit delete and I can do it outside of the region boundary as well. And it'll extend it like that similarly. Now we can also use the velocity tool the way we used to be able to before by using control and command as modifiers. Let's go to collapse mode and zoom a bit. And just by holding control and command with the regular pointer tool, I can now scale velocities. I personally really like that function. I'm glad that's back. And as well, we can now option drag the playhead to zoom horizontally in the piano roll and it works the way we expect. So I'm going to hold down option like that and just do zooming like that. So we can position the playhead, hold option and zoom. And there's been some changes to the clicking and the ruler behavior in the piano roll. Let me just zoom a little bit here. And you'll notice that when we click, we can reposition the playhead as expected, but we can't click and drag. If I do that, it doesn't reposition the playhead, it just drags the whole region. So what we need to do is click first and then grab it and then drag. So once it's in place, then you get the double arrow tool and you can do that. So click once to position it, then drag. Now the behavior is different when you're outside of a region boundary. Here I can click and drag all in one motion and it'll scroll the playhead rather than here I have to click first to position it and then click again to drag. So slightly modified behavior. I've got some modulation drawn in here and we'll look at some of the new behavior with non-note events. Now under the functions menu, when I have include non-note MIDI events enabled, when we use time handles and we compress or expand the timing, the underlying non-note events are also selected. Let me play a little example. So we have some modulation on those long notes. Now if I select like this and I compress, 
you'll see the modulation is compressed as well. So we don't have to worry about non-note events being included. They will be included when we're time compressing and expanding. Now, similarly, the brush tool, when we use it to repeat existing sections, it'll also include non-note events. So again, for example, let me just delete some of these. And I'm gonna select, let's take off the time handle function. And with the brush tool, which I have as my alternate tool, I'm gonna to create a pattern. Let me select this, hold down Command, and I'm gonna hold down Control, and now go Define Brush Pattern, and we'll see that these modulation events are associated with it. So when I paint in more iterations of this, they're including the modulation. So very nice. Now as well, when we create new notes using the brush tool like this, we can now use the velocity slider to influence the velocities. For example, I'll select those notes and maybe I want those quieter. We'll see the velocities affected on brush created notes. And finally, when we're including non-note MIDI events, the arrow keys will now allow us to cycle through not just the notes, but also the non-note events. So let me zoom in a bit and you'll see as I use the arrow keys, it's selecting not only the notes, but also the underlying data. So those are some of the improvements in the piano roll. I'll see you for more in the next video.